Hey, it's Alicia Stringer here, always empowering success streams, and today I'm at Opera Mills and doing my Superwomen Connection boot camp. I'm on day number three because um, there's no internet and slow traffic here, not as well. Day number three is talking about accountability partners. And this one I have had plenty of experience before I've gotten in this company and in this company I'm in right now. And um, when I look at it now, I'm just like, I don't want another accountability partner. But I'm going to go through some questions and explain the difference here. Hi. What are your best available times or days to meet the group? And I want to say my, my schedule is changing a lot, so we'll just have to get together and find a time to meet and commit to it. So best times or when we can commit to a time. Number two, what are you looking for in an accountability partner? Honestly, I'm not really looking, but for my, I would like some help in the problems that I would like to help solve. Hi! And we can do that in anything that you need. Like, say I have a problem, I like some role playing help, we can do that, right? Okay, number three, what unique advantages do you, could you bring to an accountability partner? The advantages is just listen. If they have a problem, just listen. They know what to do to get that problem probably solved. Sometimes you just need a sounding partner to do that. And I can be a listener. Number four. Uh, what qualities within you make a great accountability partner? Um, a quality that I can listen. <laughs> All right. Number five. What challenges do you come across that you need support to push through? <clears throat> challenges um, as far as just saying, finding a problem that comes upon me and pushing through it. Um, different problems, challenges come in different ways. And sometimes I don't have them, I just know what I need to do and I do them myself. So that's why um, a accountability partner is probably not um, a way to do that. And I reach out for different people in different areas. <clears throat> Number six, what are your fears? My fears, um, I don't know, sometimes I've figured out it's unconsciously that I don't really realize sometimes too. So fears and just getting it done. Number seven, what doubtful thoughts or images come across your mind and hold you back from moving forward? Um, I think everybody has those doubtful thoughts of failing. So if you have um, fail, you know you're going to fail. Just push through that you're going to fail again so you can move forward. Number eight, how would you like to receive support? We receive support in different ways. Sometimes we need um, to reach out to our upline, our mentor, or someone else we know that's creating more res results or something. And um, we just like need a listening ear. It just depends on what you need. Number nine, what helps you feel loved and supported? Um, they always say, you know, when you put out something, everybody wants this Facebook life. So some just being um, aware and appreciated um, always helps you feel loved and supported. Number 10, what do you want to accomplish? To accomplish um, the goals that I set in video number one. So <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you guys to think about those questions and see how you can answer them as well. And finding an accountability partner because it's different from having a sponsor or a mentor or someone who pushes you and give you the training to the next level. So I hope that was helpful for you. Get inside the Super Women Boot Camp so you can accomplish these goals as well with me. All right, two success streams. Bye, guys.